Before we start this episode, I'm going to have to apologise. I'm struggling with a bit of a cold, so I'll keep the voiceovers to a minimum. We're back from Ireland, but I'm still working away. In the meantime, Ben is itching to get the rest of the saloon floor down. But don't worry, I'll be back halfway through to start demolishing once again. It's not supposed to rain today. I'm about to set up all my workshop outside. I just don't believe it. So here we are. We've been away for a few days. It was my birthday on the weekend, so we went to Galway. <laughs> um, Ellie surprised me with a little trip away, which was absolutely fantastic. We came back yesterday, Ellie had a job in London so she went to London she took all the memory cards for the cameras with her so that was fun so I actually got a lot done yesterday and I didn't film any of it which isn't a coincidence I find that I get a lot more done when I'm not having to move cameras and try and explain what I'm doing so as you can see I've actually got three pieces of flooring down now uh, this is just the port side edging that I need to put into place these two are in position and are fully braced underneath. The starboard side piece has been contoured to the hull and that is resting. It's not quite secure just yet. It needs a few more braces underneath. And today I'm gonna to be working on the port side hull piece. I'm gonna get this piece into place, cut it, then all the floor is gonna come up. I'm gonna give it a good sand and a good clean, ready for paint anyway, so it's not too bad. I'm gonna to get to it. You know what? Ear defender something is, because it does get a bit loud. If you're into DIY, we've got a lot in store for you. As us first timers learn how to completely refit our Contest 38 sailing yacht and become liverboards. Click subscribe and hit that alert button to never miss the next step in our crazy journey. So the next step is I'm just going to keep the aft end the same because that's the widest part. I'm going to make a mark up here and I'm just going to cut a straight line down the board like that just so we can get the whole thing a lot closer so that when we scribe it'll be a lot easier. Cherry Spring has died. That's sad. It's worth looking at the news for. God, I haven't anything left on the board by the time I've smashed it up. Uh, you might be able to hear it is raining outside. I've had to bring everything back inside. I don't want to do any cutting or bring the workhorses in here because it just takes up too much room and then it may sound silly, but also the dust is quite bad, even though I've absolutely caked this place in dust. But why add to it when I don't have to? I need a pencil sharp. Actually, no, I don't. I just need a sharp pencil. More. got my scribe tool ready to go. Don't worry, once we've got our merchandise shop up and running, everyone can buy one of these. All right, I'm just gonna very lightly do the first line. The board is ever so slightly tilted down at the end because we're about 12 mil higher than where we want to be because we're sitting on this board. So it is tilting down ever so slightly. It's not perfectly in the right place, but it gives us a better shot. So the two lines that I've got them on there so far are very close to each other, which is a really good sign. This is so uneven, so it is just trying to get four or five lines in, and then I will basically just go down the middle of all of them. Let's go again. It's got so dark in here. So the rain hasn't died down any, and it doesn't look like it's going to for a while. So I'm going to pause this until tomorrow and have a little tidy up. The forward cabin is our kind of storage area at the moment. It has turned into a bit of a bomb site. So I'm going to give that a go. It's not very fun, but needs must and all. This 
today I'm gonna to say I've definitely not finished the floor but I've got the floor panels down and they are looking pretty good I'm very happy with it the starboard one could be a little bit wider I'm still deciding whether to swap it out for a new one or just to make do with what we've got it'll definitely work as it is but I'm really striving for perfection at this point so I'll leave that for now and I'm going to move on with the next task. I'm going to start dismantling the galley because before we move on to building the saloon, I kind of want to get on with the floor in here. It's galley demolition day. <laughs> Can't think of the word. Intrusive. Okay, stop that again. Welcome to our current galley. Let's give you a little tour. So, under here is the engine. We also have a little cutlery drawer we have this very intrusive set of stairs worktop the current sink is here we have another cupboard here a top loading cool box here the fridge was here this was where the oven was this was all cupboards and storage our plan is basically to keep it relatively the same however we want to extend it very slightly to essentially put the oven here. That's one option. Both love cooking and spending a lot of time there and I think keeping this open space as one open plan saloon galley is our style. We're struggling a little bit with exactly our design. The fridge, the stove and the sink. One idea is to have the oven here, basically it's exactly the same, worktop, sink and maybe the fridge here. But at the moment we're trying to figure out this awkward corner this is a top loading cool box. The issue with this is it goes all the way back. I'm quite short. Basically, I could bang my head on this <laughs> all the time. Molding. It's like going all the way back. So it's just really, I don't know, awkward to go in that way. So that's not my ideal. So it's working out a way of creating as much storage as possible using every piece of space we have, but in the most effective way. We're gonna start ripping her out today and maybe Having it completely clear will give us a fresher look on things. Anyway, anyone got ideas, let me know. Thank you, bye. It's usually a quicker way to do it. <laughs> I prefer a quicker way. once it's not windy and it's lovely okay we're going to carry on with the galley today we um basically got to cut out the rest of the shelving and then we can start i'm gonna start sanding and ben's gonna work on the floor it's gonna be good isn't it gonna be good, so good. how are you feeling this morning i feel pumped i feel good i feel ready i know what we want to do today so i really want to just crack on and it doesn't really matter what time we finish tonight, we can just keep going. We've got loads of food with us, so I think we just plow on until we're done. First thing though, and it's gonna rain a lot, and we've got a leaky deck fill, which we are gonna get rid of at some point, but for now, we have covered it with something, but it's not working, so I'm gonna put a little bit more gaffer tape over it, and hopefully that'll just stop the water running into our nicely new laid floor. There's a blooming tractor over there and it's really disturbing our filming, so could you be quiet please? Thank you. You were saying? The end. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh dear. Do you want to explain why? Well, we're taking out the galley, so soon we're going to have to get rid of this because this is so intrusive. It takes up this much space and we need it to be just like a straight ladder with enough space to cover the engine. So yeah, once that's gone, it's going to be a lot of... Uh... Do you want to talk through what our potential idea is for the companion way? Yes. Yes. Go on, give it a go. Oh, let's wait. see if let's see if we're on the same page here. <laughs> At the moment, these steps they cover the engine and like a bit more for some reason, and they've got this sort of lid to be able to access the engine, which is great. But we're going to try and have different points to access the engine from, maybe from this side, maybe from that side. But the main focus is to make this shorter, so we have less intrusion into our space. So it's basically going to be a worktop here with a sloping ladder. So we can have a bit more area here to walk around, do my bits, cook some bits, wash some bits up, go over here to the living room. <laughs> like I said, we're hoping to acquire some inspiration once it's completely clear. But for now, we're taking a little pause as we clearly haven't had our complete dose of the countryside yet. So it's off to the lakes for a few days to reset and recharge. Our next episode can't come soon enough. See you then. God save the king.